Let's be honest, it was a terrible night. Um, what got Jimmy Kimmel so emotional recently? If these tears had a name, it would be Donald Trump. There's a long history of bad blood between the late night king and the president elect. Seems like their relationship just kicked up a notch with Trump's victory, and believe us, it's been a roller coaster from day one. Hold on to your seats, everyone. We're diving into the heated, hilarious, and downright epic feud. Every legendary beef has a humble beginning. It all started back in October 2015, when Trump was just a businessman with presidential ambitions. He was all set to appear on Jimmy Kimmel Live, until he canceled at the last minute, claiming a major political event had come up. Kimmel wasn't buying it. They said he has a, a major political commitment, but he did want me to relay the message to you that if he had been here, he would have been great. <laughs> and Jimmy couldn't help but offer his audience a substitute for Trump's cameo. We're going to give everyone in the audience a uh, basketball dipped in cologne so you can ex fully experience what it would have been like had Donald Trump been here. Although Trump claims to have been on Jimmy Kimmel Live a lot, it was actually only three times. One of those appearances was in December 2015. Kimmel welcomed Trump warmly, but had a surprise up his sleeve. A children's book he wrote for a Republican, titled, Winners Aren't Losers. May I read it to you? Yes, I like it. I like it. The book looked straight out of Dr. Seuss, but was full of sly digs at Trump's lifestyle. Winners do deals and winners get rich, while sad little losers just sit there and bitch. <laughs> the politicians seemed to take it in stride, but some lines may have hit a little too close. The stage was set, and this beef just getting started. Once Trump officially took office, Kimmel only ramped things up. The feud took a personal turn in 2017. Back then, the host's newborn son needed emergency surgery for a rare heart defect. Jimmy shared the emotional story on his show. And his lungs were fine, which meant his heart wasn't. So now more doctors and nurses and equipment come in, and it's, it's a terrifying thing. Then, the host shifted focus to politics. Jimmy referred to Trump's proposal for a health funding cut. Thankfully, Congress did not support it. More than 40% of the people who would have been affected by those cuts to the National Institute of Health are children, and it, it would have a major impact. Kimmel also opposed denying access to health insurance for pre-existing conditions. If your baby is going to die, and it doesn't have to, it, it shouldn't matter how much money you make. Jimmy didn't just share his story. He used it to criticize the healthcare policies Trump supported. This was more than jokes. This was too close to his heart. Throughout his presidency, Trump gave Kimmel plenty of material to joke about. In 2018, the late-night host came back with another jab, this time about the president's proposed national alert system. That's impossible. He can't text us. Can he? Kimmel created a fake movie trailer parody poking fun at Trump's habit of non-stop tweeting. This likely drew inspiration from Trump's infamous Kavfif tweet, which quickly became an internet meme. Despite the constant negative press, Kavfefi. Koyufifi is a word widely presumed to be a typographical error that Donald Trump used in a viral tweet when he was in his first term as president of the United States, quickly became an internet meme. The parody also mocked other famous Trump tweets. Families panicked as Trump's messages like fake news and witch hunt blasted across their devices. Mommy? What's a witch hunt? What? You that? <laughs> now he's texting the kid's iPad. Fake news! Fake news! It's no surprise Trump's Twitter antics were a goldmine for Kimmel's team. But there was one case when Jimmy himself earned the fake news label, and for good reason. It happened in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Kimmel shared a clip of Vice President Mike Pence delivering personal protective equipment to a senior citizen facility. At one point, Pence noticed empty boxes in a van and joked about carrying them for the cameras. Listen in closely here. The host mistakenly took it seriously. Having only seen part of the footage, he jumped to questionable conclusions. Big box and nothing, delivering another box and nothing. When called out for being wrong, Jimmy removed the clip and issued an apology in his signature style. My mistake, I do apologize to the vice president, again, for spreading misinformation about him. Spreading misinformation is their thing. A couple of days later, Trump chimed in, accusing Kimmel of fake news and calling him out for having a last place show. Since it was Mother's Day, TV host advised the president to focus on more important things. Go make Melania brunch. 
As time goes by, the feud only gets hotter. In 2023, Rolling Stone dropped a bombshell. Trump White House pressured Disney to censor. Jimmy Kimmel. Disney is the company that owns ABC, our network, and Jimmy Kimmel is me, so obviously I was interested. According to reports, during Trump's first presidency, White House staff called Disney in 2018, asking them to rein in Kimmel. At least two calls were made. In other words, President Karen demanded to speak to my manager. <laughs> Given how much Donald Trump loves to champion free speech, this whole situation gets downright hilarious. We're here today to discuss protecting Americans from censorship. We will uphold the right of free speech. We, as a country, cannot tolerate political censorship. Well, seems like the one person this politician doesn't censor is himself. The 2024 Oscars became a prime example of the ongoing feud. Kimmel was hosting, and Trump just couldn't resist chiming in. During Kimmel's monologue, Trump posted on Truth Social, offering his own review. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of a less than average person, trying too hard to be something which he is not, and never can be. Kimmel, with his classic wit, smiled and replied, Thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still... Isn't it past your jail time? <laughs> of course, Trump couldn't let it go. Six months later, Trump was at a rally. And guess who he brought up again? You guessed it, Jimmy Kimmel. And this reference was far from flattering. I said, he's one of the dumbest human beings ever. Isn't that sweet? He's confusing me with one of his sons again. I... <laughs> the more Trump rants, the more material Kimmel gets. The politician gave his own version of what happened at the Academy Awards. He even mentioned Jimmy's wife, Molly McNerney, who was the executive producer of the Oscars. Trump was convinced that she didn't want Jimmy to joke about him. He should have listened to his wife. But really, maybe Molly had something to say? Some apologetic comment or an excuse for her husband's behavior? Donald, thank you for your support. And I'm glad I have your attention because one in three women currently in this country is living under an abortion ban because you stacked our Supreme Court. So my advice for you is to shut up and go away. Not the kind of advice Trump expected, we guess. And now here we are, November 2024. Donald Trump was reelected, and Kimmel? Let's just say he was less than thrilled. Guess what, it was a bad night for everyone who voted for him too, you just don't realize it yet. And Jimmy even compared the president-elect to the emperor from Star Wars. He's old, he's evil, and he keeps coming back with no reasonable explanation whatsoever. Sure, the law says a person can only serve as U.S. president twice in a lifetime. But not everyone finds that comforting. I'm leaving the country. Why are you leaving the country? I can't stay for another four years of this. Who knows what he's going to do? As Kimmel jokingly hinted at escaping another Trump presidency, fans were left wondering, can these two coexist for another four years? You've heard him. He said he has a list of enemies. You think I'm not on that list? Such a good question from Jimmy. With Trump in office again, you can bet this feud is far from over. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments.